All right, this is a short video on uh, these Nikes. Um, relatively new and how they've become pretty much unwearable in the gym within six months. Okay. Um, this design right here, these are supposed to be designed for hit training, like high intensity interval training or cross training. Um, you know, aerobic training, if you will. I have been a Nike customer all of my adult life, okay, over 30 years. I have worn the brand, great brand. I have a pair on right now, okay, headed to the gym. These are garbage. Uh, innovative technology, innovative design. <clears throat> but garbage okay this part of the sneaker right here basically turns into a flipper okay if you can imagine wearing a pair of flippers in the pool this is exactly how they feel on your feet over time and like I said this is six months maybe less uh, that I've worn these I haven't worn them every day but I'm noticing <clears throat> when it comes to jumping rope, you're going to feel sluggish. They are relatively heavy and that innovative sole design, okay, doesn't give you the nimble reaction that it's designed to give you. Doesn't work. So after less than, I'm going to say less than six months, these are <clears throat> basically ready for the trash. They can't return them. These are $120 brand new. You'll love the design. You'll love the color. The material hasn't worn out. This is mesh and foam. Okay, the insoles, okay, haven't worn out. All right, on the Nike Super Rep. Okay, but you got a flipper on your foot. That is a flipper. Okay. And when you're working out and you're doing high intensity training, you're going to feel the difference. Even when I walk around, I feel like my feet are slapping the ground and my feet are flapping like I'm walking with scuba diver slippers, uh, flippers on. Okay. So for whatever it's worth, this is the Nike super rep. I bought these in mid 2020 this is now basically february 2021 okay i do not wear them every day but you know uh it shouldn't matter um not recommended highly disappointed and i'm flat-footed so that's another thing if you are a flat-footed athlete like myself and you weigh over 200 pounds uh, over time again I think you're gonna notice these and they're definitely not good for any squatting or leg pressing or anything like that and I venture to even say air squats I find these to be a challenge okay um, you know compared to some other cross training design uh, shoes that Nike offers okay so I just wanted to do a quick video if anybody feels the same way I do I just say buyer beware for 120 bucks uh, be cautious these are not holding up to the job over the long term not worth a hundred twenty dollar investment where I don't feel they're sturdy enough within six months